with your trusted connectivity partner, Telcom Business, proudly brings you the Entrepreneurial SME Show. South Africa's jewelry market is a dynamic blend of traditional craftsmanship and modern innovation. Tonight we look at the local jewelry market and the endless opportunities it offers. Welcome back to another insightful episode of the Entrepreneurial SME. I'm Rems Mabote. My guest is founder of Issa B Jewelry Designs, Isabel Botma. Here is a sneak preview of what she does in her business. I am Isabel Botma and I am the founder of Isabi Jewelry Design. Isabi Jewelry Designs is uh, a company that manufactures contemporary design and creative jewelry. I started my company back in uh, 2019, just before COVID um, in February, but I registered it in December. And um, when I started my company, um, I had the, the vision of um, having to be able to work for myself and also to create employment for other people. My business has been operating for five years now, since I've started um, in February 2020. And then un up until now, where um, I got the opportunity to become uh, Woolies Youth Makers. My designs are handmade contemporary jewelry pieces, and um, we get to manufacture them in metals such as um, uh, sterling silver, non-tarnished silver, brass, copper, and then we custom design um, our pieces. If a client gets to come through and they say they want a piece, then we get to uh, custom design those pieces. I was inspired by my mom. Um, she was selling honey jewelry, and that really pushed me to go and um, see at open day at TUT as to what is jewelry all about. And I fell in love with how the metal was um, was alchemizing the flames and it was just flaring and I just totally fell in love and that's where um, the beauty of the jewelry manufacturing started. It's a B is gonna be one of uh, the SMMEs that um, will make a mark and I feel like I'll have my online store soon and I'm going to well that's my wish that um, I get to have my own um, physical store and most importantly to export my goods to other countries um, that's that's the main goal Isabel good evening and thank you for coming so thank you look, for having me somebody my age uh, and male is, is I'm a cake in my thinking I've always thought women only appear as people who wear jewelry, they don't make it. And to see you there, and when the team suggested you, I was fascinated that you not only wear it, you design it. Congratulations. Thank you. And you studied this. Yes. Why? Um, I think because of my curiosity as a child. Yeah. Growing up, um, I used to look at my mom's catalogs, as I've mentioned that um, she was selling honey jewelry. And for me, I always thought, um, how do they do these things, you know? And I wanted to find out as to how can one do these beautiful things that I see on magazines. Yeah. And as I um, uh, grew up and um, I, th I got to complete matric, um, my cousin was studying fashion at the time at TUT. She was like, no man, come and get to see what the jewelry department is doing. Perhaps you'll fall in love with it actually when you get to see how they make it. I was like, great, come, um, can I come to the open day? She was like, yes, of course. Then we went together, she showed me the department and when I saw those flames um, melting the metal and how that wearable art is being formed, I was like, wow. I was mind blown and I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. You didn't worry about your manicure? At all. <laughs> so, so you start and let's, let's forget about COVID. You spoke about it, right? It, it yeah. You started slow. Yes. But you get into the business. Uh, did you have to spend money to st st start the business? Did you get any funding? Um, when I started my business, um, it was just uh, after I've done my learnerships, yeah. my GDP, because in my um, industry, 
after you done studying, you have to do like a GDP. And then I got to do a learnership with, uh, it was CAD design at that time. After that, I almost, I had savings. So I had to take um, also old um, pieces that I did in varsity. I had to remount and recreate the things. Wow. And that's you that. Them for posterity. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's a difficult market. I mean, also because the saturation, right? I can go to a shopping mall and get into big retailers who do what you do. How do you break the market? How do you make your mark on the market? I think because I get to design, I get to, because I always say I like to be free. Yeah. I get to design contemporary designs, creative designs, and for the wearer that wants something extraordinary. And I feel like um, I'm not really um, looking at what the other bigger brands in the market are doing, but I'm focusing on what, what, what's missing, um, what, what other people, missing? I think more of um, interpretation of um, the people, what the people want wow, now. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's say if um, another person doesn't want to look like the next person, yeah. I'm, I'm there for that. Doesn't that make it then expensive and therefore uncompetitive? Because again, I can walk into a mall and buy a piece for mm. cheaper. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, looking at um, what you desire as a person. Yeah. If you want to look like the next person, then it's fine. You can get a piece anywhere else. Yeah. But if you value art and you value distinctiveness, then definitely you, like you won't mind. Fire. Yes, yeah. you won't mind spending on something that's very unique and that will last long. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you ever collaborated with other people in this business? Um, only now recently. Yeah. Um, with the Willie's uh, Youth Makers Competition yes. that um, I've collaborated with them. Actually, where I got a platform to actually get to showcase my stuff yep. in three of their biggest stores. And that was for me amazing. And apart from that, also, um, I started with the Rand Refinery Enterprise Development Program, where um, after we graduated from the uh, 18 candidates that they had when they started, I was top three, actually top two <laughs> from that program when I won. And we got to um, be the first vendors at the, their store in Monte Cassino. Beautiful, beautiful. So you explained the, your typical client. How do you reach them? Um, through markets. I feel like a market has been a bigger, um, space for me where I got to see who am I actually um, catering for yeah. because I got to see the kind of person who uh, got me like gravitated towards what I what I've displayed and for me that's where I got to pick up to okay these are the kind of people I'm catering for mm. and as as it goes on I get to also see that okay I'm actually catering for this type of person someone who actually doesn't mind spending on quality jewelry and unique jewelry for that yeah do you create to sell or do you create on order create to sell most of the times yeah yeah, yeah. And it works it works yeah. Are you making money? Um, not, uh, not at the point that um, I'm satisfied. Nobody ever is. <laughs> yeah. So, but I am. I am getting. I'm getting there. Okay. We're yeah. going to talk more about the challenges when we get back. So let's take a break. Please don't touch that dial. We shall return shortly.